one. Um, so I kind of ask the same couple of questions each time um, to kind of get everyone's perspective. So the first one is, how do you see the relationship between arts and activism? <laughs> this is a bit short as well, so I might need to. Um, I think that the um, well, I think that activism. I think that without art, art moves the soul, and stories are what connects people. To, to the activism in the first place. So I feel that if there is no all right. So for example, um, if we hear something on the news, no one. When we hear facts and figures, no one really cares. But it's when we hear a story that's what moves us. And I think that art is that is that bridge. Um, I think. Okay. So the best example to use. You know what? Some. Okay. So Nelson Mandela died. Okay. No, he didn't. No, not Nelson Mandela. Sorry, Robert Mugabe died. Okay. Right? But the comparison was made between him and Nelson Mandela, and a lot of people are saying on Twitter, Nelson Mandela left poems, Robert Mugabe left land. And actually, that's not true. If Robert Mugabe didn't use poetry, if his all right, so I would call his 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 style of um. Uh, um, you know, public speaking, like, slam, like that's, that's, how, that's slam poetry, that's when you get people riled <laughs> up, right? No, but it's true. It's that, that energy and that, that ability to speak and the ability to move people, that is art. So, yeah, so when, when um, the, the tweets went around that, you know, Nelson Mandela was, was more of a poet and, you know, Robert Garvey was just a dictator, if he hadn't used art, he wouldn't have been so successful, right? So it moves all moves people, so that's the relationship, I think. Weird little dance. It wasn't fun. <laughs> yeah, so I guess um, my main experience of activism is mostly like climate change related. Um, so for me, yeah, the the use of art in these times is so powerful because if you go to if you go to a protest or um, yeah any kind of action um, like you'll hear you'll hear people speaking about like uh, species decline or about like drought and all of the terrible things that are happening and you feel this like yeah you feel something from it but when someone talks about how that affects them or someone shares a poem about their fear that their child might grow up in like a desolate world or something like that you suddenly are like you feel a connection to it, and I think like what you were saying about art, art being the soul. I think that's the most poignant thing, and that's what moves people. Um, and I've just been so astounded that um, the arts aren't given much like funding or space to be shared um, as much as they should. And I think if they were more, people would learn to be more in tune to themselves and actually learn the tools to speak up about things that they feel that they suffer from. Because um, I feel that when I, when, I, when I write about things that I'm angry about or that I'm hurt about and they're a form of activism, I feel empowered and then able to create change from that. Um, so yeah, if people are given that voice and that expression of art, they're then able to be activists themselves, I think. So I guess that's the relationship. Um, so the next question.